Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka Drive. I'm pretty guys on the episode of our Pokemon Daybreak Nuzlocke Let's Play. If you guys are new and you haven't seen the last episode, go check that out. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and of course, show some love and hit that like button down below as we are cruising here on Pokemon Daybreak. I do have to tell you guys, I'm starting to feel a little under the weather. I think I'm going to get sick. My daughter and wife have been sick. And uh, I'm not looking too good right now. I got that tickle in the back of the throat and the impending doom of uh, whatever I'm about to have is coming. It's not COVID. My wife got COVID tested. But uh, nevertheless, that's that's looming over me. But we're going to have a fun episode today. Hopefully, we can get Mega Evolution. If you missed last one, we had a, a really rough time. We actually lost multiple Pokemon. Shoutouts to Storm. Uh, and Tank, of course, we lost both of them. Next is going to be a replacement for Tank, and I've got this egg for, uh, for what very much so looks like it's going to be a Togepi. So I'll we'll have to figure all that out. Uh, I've got some hatching to do. I don't even know if you can, like, leave this island. How do you even leave? You can't fly here. So I'm a little torn on, like, what do I even do to leave, and can I come back and stuff? So I'm going to figure that out, and then I think we've just got a bunch of traveling to do. I really want to see if I can figure out how to get the Mega Stones. I don't know how you even leave this place. So let me explore, and we'll figure that all out, and hopefully have a good episode today. Let's do it. Oh yeah, I'm rocking my Grookey Gang shirt. If you guys haven't picked up some Team Shiny shirts, Team Shiny merch, you guys already know TeamShiny.com. We've got some great merch. In fact, we're actually dropping some new merch very, very soon. So keep an eye out on that, and hopefully I can get out of here. I don't even know how I'm supposed to leave. I, I actually have no idea how I'm supposed to leave. Like, how do you leave? Oh, this is how you leave. You gotta come here. Got it. Dude, I legitimately spent four minutes looking to figure out how to leave. A note! Had to run a drive. Why don't you go see Blake when you come back? Dante. I don't, do I know who Blake is? I don't know. Can I fly here though? Like, am I able to fly here in the future so I don't have to go through the maze again? You can fly here. Okay, so I can always fly back to Unknown Island, Unknown Island, which is huge. So that's really good news. I don't remember who Blake is though. Can I be honest? I feel like I need to look up who Blake is. Okay, so Blake is in Radon Town. He's, he's the original professor. That's who he is. There we go. Is that you? Why is it? What a pleasant surprise. I suppose you're gonna inform me of the current status of the investigation. Where's Dante? Allow me to finish this experiment. Success! It says the entire party has been restored to full health. Oh, I didn't explain. My team and I am developing this new prototype which can heal your entire party on the go. Like a portable Pokemon Center. It obtains kinetic energy through the user walking. I'd like you to test this. Oh, that's actually really cool. I'll take that. Actually, that's really helpful. And there's Looker. That's my code name. I'm here to looking for A-Drive. I heard that they were looking for you. It's Blake, and how come? Hey, Drive, there are more rumors being spread about the secret town, which was taken over by what seems to be Squad Zero. I have an accomplice in Rettery Town who would like to assist us in finding the secret town. The reason I'm coming for your help is because I understood you are a fairly decent trainer. I must be leaving. Meet me there in Rettery Town. It's just past Sandstone Path. Use your town, to, town map to locate it. I can't believe there's a city in the sky. It's crucial you crack this case. Squad Zero must be stopped at all costs. I suggest you make your way to Looker. I don't know what you're going to be looking to do, but best of luck. Oh, A-Drive, have you seen Dante? He hasn't been around since he came to following your meeting in Edgeton Woods. If you see him, tell him to call me, please. They're just gonna kick me out. I wanna change my Orite or whatever. Oh, I, I can't, he won't, he won't do it. Okay, well, I did what I could. So, I gotta do a couple different things. We have to go to that new town that he just mentioned. Let me see if I can figure out where that is. Redderill City, yeah, so it's this way. So, I never went to Evergreen Hill, so this looks like we can go through Aquafina to go explore these different areas or head through Sandstone Path, rather to ultimately get there. So we'll have to kind of figure that out and do a little bit of a little bit of researching and, and whatever else to get there. So we can do that, no problem. Now my understanding is in Laka Cave, we can actually get the Alarite that we need to be able to get that Mega Evolution. So I'm gonna try to go there because I haven't actually explored there. So I'm gonna try that next. All right, I found the Treasure Maniac again. So I guess we can do this. See if I can find anything. There's a rare bone. There's a shard probably. Ooh, look at that. That's a Spirit Tomb thing. All right, so I got a rare bone and an odd keystone, which I guess is cool. But I did not figure out where I'm supposed to go yet. I tell you, I've been down here before, but I don't think I realized you can go through here. Whoa! This is a different part of the cave I've never been to. This has got to be where I get it. You need strength. Yeah, this has got to be where I find this. A twisted spoon. There's a scientist. The climate in this cave is so human and warm, there are no wild Pokemon in these waters. Is that it right there? Soothe Bell. Nope, that's not it. Is this it? Supposedly, these kissed crystals are a key ingredient to making Mega Stones, but it's their only application, so no one comes to mind them much. Well, then how do I get them, bro? I found green crystal. 
It is used to forge Alarite. I think that's all I need. I think I just grabbed that one and that's it. That was easy enough. Oh my god, and we just came out here? I don't have the way to chop these logs yet though. This game, like the caves really connect to each other quite a bit here, but I think I got what I needed to go get Megastone. So I came out here. Oh, but I don't have, yeah, I don't have the, um, this is a new route too. Are there cool Pokemon here? There's no pet, there's no encounters. I don't have the log chopper. So I can go grab that. I think I can go grab that if I'm not mistaken. I think it was here in Aquafina. And then I'm gonna go to the sky and see if I can get Mega Stones now. No, it's not Aquafina, wrong, wrong town. Okay, this is the log chopper's house. So I'm interested in learning the ways of the lumberjacking. So he's gonna give me Luge Axe. And that's a key item that allows us to cut down that lumber. And he gave it to me now. This is where that Kecleon was and we couldn't actually do anything about it earlier. But now I have the ax, so I can chop all these different things down. And our egg's hatching already. And it is a Togepi. Disco the Togepi. Disco, let's see if it's any good. It is Adam and Nature with Hustle. Oh God, I can't, I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't, I can't justify that. Oh, there's the Kecleon, whoa! Do I get to catch that thing? That would be dope, dude. Okay, uh, I don't exactly have the best team for this, but I think I should try, right? I think Darwin would be good. He looks like he could be psychic type though, but let's do it, let's see. I think I have Pokeballs. Yeah, we're battling it. Level 70? I'm gonna snarl. He's gonna substitute. I'm really scared. I'm gonna baby doll eyes, it doesn't work. Screech. I'm really scared, I'm gonna snarl again. He's gonna substitute again. I'm really scared. Synchronize, it doesn't work. He showed me three of his four attacks. He might not be able to hit me. Oh my God, a level 70 Kecleon, dude. Can I, ca it can't be caught. It can't be caught. Okay, then I just snarl it, I guess? He's got Sucker Punch! Oh, we're okay though, we're okay. We're okay. He's gonna screech again. So like, what's the point of this dude? One more snarl? I can't catch him. Oh, he left an item. Prize possession. This kid, this is an irreplaceable item belonging to a kid in Siakosa City. Oh! Well, that's interesting. Well, let's go back to Siakosa City and see if I can return it to the kid. I did find your item. 50 grand? I got the money now, that's perfect. Especially with us about to try to get mega stones. Okay, I made it back to the unknown city. Let's go see if that dude's gonna take my crystals. Did you find that all right? Let me know when you do. What, what do you think I found, bro? I found the green crystal. Maybe I have to take it to the, one of the scientists and he turns it into all right. Okay, so actually I figured it out. You have to go to Astera's path and someone there is gonna turn the green crystal into all right. So we're one step closer. I gotta go back through that cave. Now that I have the wood axe, I can go down to that route. Kind of crazy that you have to solve all these little puzzles to figure it out. Um, I think I would have eventually gotten there if I kept exploring, but I kind of just, I'm gonna be honest, I Googled it. <laughs> all right, so this is a stairs path and it looks like there's gonna be some trainers to battle. So let me grab uh, this tart apple, which I think is for Applin. And I'm also gonna give the lucky egg to a few of the lower level Pokemon right now. All right, so we're kind of rocking with a weaker team here. So we'll see how this goes because I, I don't have a full squad right now, but I'm gonna press on. And I got a battle of Toxtricity, so we'll just you turn out of here because I don't want to deal with that. My Toxtricity answers are pretty limited. Uh, I do have Juggernaut though, so I'm, I'm assuming Juggernaut should be okay against him. Yeah, we could just Earthquake here. He's gonna shift gear, but we should one-shot him with Earthquake. So we'll beat the Toxtricity. They're only level 52, so I'm actually in an okay level spot. And Nexus gets a level. Here comes a Scrafty. I could stay in and just Earthquake. Let's do it. He's gonna Crunch. It does nothing because Juggernaut's such a beast. I mean, I guess if he were to high jump kick, he'd probably do some big damage, but we're in good shape here, no problem. And Nexus wants to learn Rain Dance, but I'm gonna pass on that and we'll keep moving. It's your lucky day, you get to lose to me. Oh, 
Okay, Ace Trainer Ricky and your Rapidash. Uh, I'm just gonna cross poison because I don't think Rapidash one shots Crobat. This is gonna hurt though. Yeah, we're good though. We're good. We're good. Nice job, Batwoman. And a Flygon. Um, that's a little sketchier, but I think I could just U-turn out and go into Darwin and we should be okay. Because, like, worst case scenario, this thing, I don't know, Dragon Dances or Draco Meteors. He's gonna Dragon Rush. That's fine. Uh, we could just Snarl. Oh, he, he just keeps Dragon Rushing. Okay. Um, Megatron could come in. I'm just worried that he's gonna have something else. Let's Baby Doll Eyes and then we'll switch out. Yeah, he just Dragon Rushes again. Okay. Uh, this is good for 07, though. Because if he's just gonna keep Dragon Rushing, then I'll just, I'll just do that and then I can just counter. He's gonna miss. Of course he misses. But we'll finish him off here. He's gonna miss again. Of course he misses again. And now he's Sandstorm, so now I can't even counter him. Can you just attack me? There we go. There we go. Goodbye. See you later, Flygon. I figured you out. It's no use resisting. Uh, what have you figured out, Jesse? A Bronzong. All right, we have to U-turn out. Bronzong's a little tricky. I do have Darwin though, so I think we're okay. Cause he's gonna like Future Sight or something. Yeah, we could just Snarl. And that should make it very easy to beat him. Unless he explodes, I guess would be the worst case. But even that, yeah, he's gonna switch out in a Skunk Tank. And I missed the Snarl. Um, This is definitely a Juggernaut situation. Unless he has like, yeah, he's just gonna Sucker Punch. So we can just Earthquake. This shouldn't do much. And then I can't really hit Bronzong. So I'm gonna have to switch back out, but that's fine. Good experience with the other guys. Yeah, we'll just switch back out. We'll go back into Dharma because I can just Snarl here so easily. And Bronzong is just gonna go for Psychic moves. I miss a second Snarl, dude. I think that's a 5% chance to miss. I do hit him with that one though. And what else you got for me? Nexus gets a level and a Magnezone. I'm just gonna Snarl just to drop your special attack. He's gonna discharge and it's Electric Gem. That's gonna tickle. Um, Yeah, I mean Juggernaut should be fine here, but I, honestly, I think I just Snarl again. Cause like, I don't know. He's just gonna keep discharging. He does paralyze me, but at this point, I'm gonna predict the electric move and then we can go Juggernaut. He flash cannons on the switch, but it doesn't do that much, so we can just Earthquake. If he crits, this will hurt, but I think we're okay. Yeah, we're good. No problemo. All right, he was a little bit of a tough trainer, but nothing too crazy. Okay, this is interesting. There's like a whole town with like a ninja and all sorts of stuff going on here. I'll cut this tree down, see if there's something hidden here. No. Bunch of trees everywhere. A beedrill guarding. Pincerite? Ooh, I like it. This is probably the guy's house. Who are you? So you're A-Drive, nice to meet you, I'm John. Wait, what can I help you with? Looking for all right, I see, well you've come to the right place. This place uh, used to be an outpost for travelers, although it doesn't seem much of anything for about 50 years. I'm the current owner, I maintain the grounds and live here. What do you need all right for? A mega evolution accessory. I see you've been guided here by someone who really knows this place well. Here, I'll go to the shed and I'll see if I happen to have some. What do they mean, knows this place well? Was that sort of secret or something? Hey, it seems I have none. I do know how to make it though. If you would be so kind, you'd have to collect something for me. In Locket Cave, there should be a large pile of rocks. Within them, a specific kind of hard crystal. If you find it, bring it back here. Hey, did you find it? Good, I'll be back in a sec. All right, here you go. And I got the all right. I can't help you with making the accessories, so I assume you have a plan for that. I've been thinking about taking up battling again, and it'd be cool to have someone I know test me. Yeah, I do not want to battle you, bro. Have a nice day, homie. And it's raining now, so that's a thing. But hey, you know what? We got what we needed. And we can keep on keeping on here. I'll see what's over here. Another trainer. My favorite Pokemon are usually heavyweights. Oh, lovely. Hiker Shaw, he's got an AGG run. And I'm just gonna U-turn to break a sturdy and then we'll have to switch out. Uh, probably just Juggernaut here and just Earthquake him. He double edges, which is gonna do nothing. And we're okay to just Earthquake him and this is gonna just obliterate this dude. Four times super effective. Goodbye, let's see whose heavyweight is better. Cause mine is probably better. A whale, oh wait, just kidding. That is not a heavyweight that I wanna face up against. Um, I'm I'm actually very nervous because if he has water spout, he's gonna do a lot of damage here. Yeah, that's that's a lot. I'm gonna snarl to drop a special attack and lower the damage of water spout. That's sketch. Um Honestly, I think my best play is healing and then just snarling again. Waylord in rain, dude? 
Oh, he crit me. Okay. At least we know. At least we know. And Water Spell gets weaker every time I snarl, so that's the good news. I think we're going to be just fine. It's not really doing as much now that I've hit these snarls. And he's going to dive. Okay. Um, I can't really dodge the dive in any way. So I guess I'll just protect. Yeah, I guess that works. I guess I can dodge the dive after all. And I'll snarl again. And he's going to dive again. And we can just protect and then hit him again with snarl. So no problem there against this Waylord, which almost was really scary. But we're going to be okay. Only because it's raining. If it wasn't raining, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Double edge on Nexus now. And a Claydol. Yeah, I just snarl this guy too. Should be fine. Sandstorm. Mm, that's not too big of a deal. Claydol really can't touch me. I mean, maybe he can explode, but that's about it. Let's see. He's going to Earth Power, but he's he's dropped his special attack so much. And we should finish him off with another Snarl. And I'm going to use that healing walking thing that they just gave me. Seems like a good way to save some potions and stuff. So let's see how I use that. Heal Charge. Oh, it's not Charge. Well, that's awkward. There's an awful lot of trainers on this route. I'm not going to lie. Painter Alfred's got an Archeops. Okay, I guess I go Juggernaut. He's going to Rock Slide me. I should be okay against this dude. Worst case scenario would be like Earth Power, but he's going to just U-turn out and go into Smeargle, which gets one shot by a Stone Edge unless he's Sashed. He is not. See you later. And a Lilligant. Well, I definitely can't stay in against that, but I have Batwoman, so we should be okay here. Petal Dance is four times resisted, and I can just go for a big Cross Poison and probably just one-shot him. Ooh, he lived. But he's still pedal dancing, so it's not an issue. And then what I'll do is actually just U-turn to get the KO. And we'll go right back into Rhyperior to deal with the incoming Archeops. And we should be totally fine here. Like I said, worst case scenario, this thing goes for Earth Power. But I don't even think that KOs. He just crunches. And I do hit the Stone Edge and knock out the Archeops. Easy peasy. Not a big deal at all. I get some good health. And Nexus gets a level. Everyone's catching up. The, the new guys are catching up to the team, so that's good. Get ready for my solo. Oh boy, he's going to have electric types. He's got two Pokemon. Static Eon, which is definitely... I got to assume I'm faster. It's got to be Jolteon, Leafeon. So I think I just go Darwin here and just play this safe. I probably would have knocked him out if I cross poison. He's actually going to paralyze me with Thunderbolt, but I can just Snarl. I don't have any attacks left. Just kidding. Uh, then I'll just Toxic. Oh, he's going to Synthesis. How, how lucky am I? I do get the Toxic off, though. Um... What do I want to do here? I don't want to go Juggernaut because if I go Juggernaut and then my dude goes for a Leaf Blade or something, it's going to really mess me up a little bit. All right, we got that. I really can't do anything to him. Um, Kind of in an awkward spot here. I guess I can go Juggernaut on the Thunderbolt and then go Bat... This is a really dumb play, though. He's going to Synthesis. Okay. And then I guess I'm going to predict the non-electric move because why would he electric move a ground type? And we'll go Batwoman. It crunches. Okay. Well, I'm good now because I can just finish him off with a cross poison. Okay. Stedikion. And what else you got? An Ampharos. I definitely have to get out of this. Oh, it's Mega Ampharos! Random trainer on a random route with Mega Ampharos. Excuse me. Power gem. Okay. If he has focus blast, he kind of blows me back here. But I'm faster because Juggernaut's a beast. And we're going to be okay. Whew. You do not expect random trainer on the route to have a mega evolution. But I guess that that's the stage of the game we're at now, guys. So prepare yourselves. I just wasted a lot of hyper potions. And Gardevoirite. Nice. Lots of mega stones. Ooh, an item over here, too. Sweet apple. I got both apples now. Treat me like a lady. I mean, we can battle. Lady Patricia's got a Blossom. Oh, you don't want this. You don't want these hands. My game just crashed. It's happened, man. The game crashes on me, man. I, I didn't save that long ago, so I think we're going to be okay. Oh, it, it uncrashed. I don't know what just caused it to crash. I just got an error message, and it's it keeps erroring. I don't know what the error is, but it's working. I guess we just keep playing. I don't know. I've had a handful of crashes uh, in this game, but it looks like it's okay. Something with Blossom was off there. We're good. I thought it was going to crash, but we're good. Sweet. Ooh, superpower. Let's get it. And now we're on Lux Strait, which is a new location, but there's no encounters despite the fact that there's grass in front of me. The sand is so soft. I guess I'm just battling a bunch of trainers right now. Picnicker Iris has a Sand Slash. 
Um, I could just go for... How does U-turn out? Not really much I'm going to do to a Sand Slash. Nexus is almost ready to fight. I think I could use it in this fight. He's going to Sandstorm. That might give him a boost, but I think I can live one hit anyway and just go for Aqua Tail. He's going to Dig. Um, Do I want to take a Dig? I'll take one. I think I can take one. Yeah, we're good. Aqua Tail should one-shot. We're huge power, so we're going to do massive damage. And we're going to get good XP there. And what else you got for me? Hit Moan Top. So this I have to switch out on. But I can always go... I'll just go Batwoman, honestly. This has been a really good... All these trainers have been a really good... Is this the Agility Gyro Ball set again? All these trainers have been really good experience, though. For us to get the rest of the team trained up. So, kind of been good that I deviated a little bit from the main story to... Kind of... What is this Agility Hit Moan Top doing, man? I don't even know what's happening here. Whatever. Uh, it's been good that I kind of deviated to do some training. Still says no encounters here, so... I guess I'm battling this person. I don't know why there's no encounters on this route, though. I feel like that's an oversight. A wall rain? We could just U-turn. What's my wall rain answer? I don't really have one. Maybe Megatron? I don't think that's a good play. I mean, Darwin would normally be the answer. I guess I gotta go Darwin. I don't have any snarls, though. He's gonna hail, so he's probably Ice Body. Which is why Toxic is good here. Yeah, he's definitely Ice Body. What is Toxic? And then I kind of just have to stall him out, I guess. There's a Hail Blizzard. Okay. I guess if we're doing it that way then, bro. Yeah, I gotta heal. I gotta, like, get Snarls back. Cause especially since I don't have a full team right now, basically. But we should be okay to beat this Wall Ring without a problem. Um, He's gonna probably Blizzard again. So I think the play is 07 here. Is it? 07 and then just go for Magic Coat? Or do I just stay in? I mean... I guess I can heal too. And just kind of see what happens. I mean, he's just gonna blizzard me. It doesn't do that much. It's just like with the hail damage, it does a lot. But Toxic is starting to rack up on him. So I'll just protect again. And we'll eventually beat this wall rain. He really has rest. He really just went for rest. All right. He does go for blizzard. We take it. I do mirror code it back. And it does knock out the wall rain. So that was a good way to do it. And a Waylord. Same situation as before. I think I just go for the mirror coat. Hopefully I live this. I do. And I almost knocked him out. Presumably I'm okay, but I'm just gonna hyper potion. And then I think we're fine here. He's gonna water spout again. It's gonna do nothing. I can just mirror coat again on the water spout. We're fine. Yeah, we're good. Top trainer though. Uh, primarily, we oh, we're not done yet. There's a Milotic. I'll just mirror coat this too. Hydro Palm. Oh, crit. Yeah, 07, you're legendary, in case no one knew that already. All right, I just used an elixir on Darwin because I really want to press on here. And that healing charge thing isn't working yet, so kind of just is what it is. And Gyarados Sight. Oh, remember when we had a Gyarados? That would have been dope. Something's biting, it's you. Yes, it is I, sir. Let's battle. Electros. Okay, we're just you turning out on this dude. No, thank you. Um, Honestly, what are you doing to Juggernaut, though? I guess he could have some crazy coverage, but I think I could just Stone Edge. Yeah, we're good. All right, what else you got for me? A Gyarados! That's a little trickier. Um, I gotta believe that I can go 07 here. Oh, it's Mega Gear! Oh, I'm in trouble. I am in a tremendous amount of trouble. I am in a tremendous amount of trouble. We're gonna go Darwin. He's gonna rain dance. All right, I think we're okay because I can toxic. He's gonna hydro pump. He rain dance, hydro pump, Gyarados. I'm gonna protect, and then I can snarl. Yeah, he's just gonna keep hydro pumping. If as long as he doesn't like, I missed. I would miss, right? Because why would why wouldn't I miss? I'll protect, and then I could just snarl again. He doesn't have rain anymore, which means he's not gonna deal nearly as, as much damage there. I do get the special attack drive. He does rain dance, but I should be okay here to knock him out in the next turn with protect. Thumbs up. He had hurricane too. That's that was a that was an interesting set. I'll take it. But that was oh he's still got an octillery. We're not even out of the woods yet. Um, he's gonna have an ice move. He also very much so like there's a really high chance my dude's about to drop. A massive water spout right now. That is a move he gets. I'm gonna snarl, drop his special attack, signal beam. 
Okay, we're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Um, if signal beams is play, I'm gonna go Batwoman and then U-turn. Okay, we're, we're actually fine right now. I'll just U-turn. And then I think I'm gonna go into Nexus. To take an Ice Beam, yes. Okay, so I think I resist three of his attacks. So we can just play rough. Oh, he's got Bullet Seed! And he's gonna hit four times! Oh my gosh! Why must you do this to me? And a deep sea scale. And I think that's the end. I, I actually think that's as far as we can go here. Oh no, the route does continue, but I don't know how to go to the other side. Yeah, it seems as though that's as far as you can go in terms of this route. I, I think you can go to the other side of it from uh, Brizziano Town if you surf, but we'll explore that later. Let's go back and try to get our mega evolution now because I think we can actually do that. So let's try that. I did find the Alarite. I did. I've, I'd only heard of that outpost in, post in books, but I'm glad you located it. I'll get right to work. Perfect, it's complete. I hope it works as intended. And I got the mega ring. Let's go, baby. Let's get it. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so we now have the mega ring, which opens up a whole new world of possibilities for us in this game. New mega evolutions and more. I'm gonna go and check out that store now, because I think I actually our next badge might be to take on the Aquafina leader, um, which is out here, because I never battled this gym leader. So, I know I also have to head... Hold on, let me look at the map again. I know I have to head to Redreal. So, I do have a couple things I have to do here, but I think the gym's probably open now. It's still not open, so I don't know what's up with that, but let's go to the department store and see if Mega Stones are on sale yet. Oh, yeah, baby! Lucario Knight, Charizardite, all of the Mega Stones. I can get Agronite, so I can have Mega Agron right now. Look at them all. Look at them all. Laprasite and Heliotite. Heliolite. Absolite. Oh my god, we have so much potential, guys. I think I gotta take Agron right now. Oh! A serum which causes the user to gain the Psyche type. Pathix, Xerix, Vertix, Voidix. Oh, baby. So I can get Dark and Psychic Evolution right now. Dark and Ice. Dark and Grass. Dark and water, dark and fire, and dark electric. Hmm. Dark and psychic is certainly interesting. I'd have to look them up and see if I feel that any of them are, like, really beneficial. But it might be time to evolve Umbreon. I don't know. I've been, been kind of holding off. I've really been holding off. But I think for sure we grab a Megastone here. So I think I think I definitely grab Agronite. Um, I can't really use any of the other ones right now. I don't think I have any of these Pokemon in my box, do I? I could use Audino. I could have Mega Audino. Um, I could also use... I could have Glalie. I could have Mega Glalie. Um, I remember I caught a snow run, I think, at one point. I could also use Mega Metagross, which honestly would be stupid. I could use Mega Pidgeot. We have some options. I think I already picked up Pidgeot-type. But it might be... Ah, dude, I'm so torn. I feel like Umbreon has been so good as just an Eviolite Umbreon, though. Like, his set is so good right now. So, we've got some tough decisions to make. I think the next journey is actually to head north to that new town. I don't know how we even get there, though. Oh, my God. $300,000. I was selling some stuff in my box. And we have so much money that we can sell. I don't know if I'm supposed to sell it to these guys or if I'm supposed to sell it somewhere else. I'm actually okay on money right now, though, so I'm gonna stock up on some different items like potions and ultra balls and stuff. And then we'll press on. And here we are on Antiqua Pass, which is the next pass we gotta go up to Evergreen Hill. And then I think we head to Sandstone Pass. So let's take a look and see what's going on in Antiqua Pass here. Oh, this looks really nice. Oh my god, what do we got going on here? Is there encounters here? No. I am the berry master. Oh, I can take I can take all the berries from him. Okay. Oh, this guy does apricorns. Do I have apricorns? I don't have any apricorns. How do I not have any apricorns? I've been playing this game for weeks. I have no idea. But the guy said I could take all his berries. So let's see what kind of berries we got here. Oh, he's got a big collection of berries. B oh, this is great. But berry berries. Oh, we're going to get all the type reduction berries, which are going to be actually really clutch. Oh, we found Antiqua Bush. What is this? Oh, there's no encounters here either. Just a random Breloom. What's going on in Antiqua Bush? More Breylooms? What is this? An interesting statue featuring Pikachu. It says, dedicated to those who have a pure spirit. Do I not have pure spirits? 
Oh, Breloom wants to battle! I'll take a static encounter, Breloom. Level 60? Okay. Um. Okay, tell me how Breloom kind of runs my team. I have to poison fang him and hope I don't do a ton. No poison? Okay. That's about as good as it gets because he was going to run my team otherwise. I think I actually just get a straight Breloom here. I'll take this. Okay, that's a thing. Um, let's try this again. My dude's level 60, bro. Nice! One up, the Breloom is on our squad. That's actually a really nice Pokemon to pick up. Especially in a game like this. If he has Spore and stuff, he can be so good. So we'll have to figure out what this place is all about here. Uh, maybe it has to do with the Karma system or something. Just randomly found a Kecleon on this route. I don't even know. I'm still on the same route, so I have no. I, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna run from him. Um, what do we got here? Oh, Evergreen Hill. This is a new location for sure. Oh yeah. And the the music here is kind of crazy, actually. I guess we'll take a look at what Evergreen Hill has to offer. And I do get an encounter once I. There it is. See what it's gonna be. A Braviary. Level 65, though. Okay, I'm going Juggernaut. Because this thing is a problem. He could have superpower. I'll go for Rock Smash. He's going to Crest Claw. We're okay, though. Level 65, Braviar. We have now reached a new part of the game where things are going to be crazy strong. I can already tell. I'll Rock Smash one more time. He misses his, his bounce. And I do get a Fence Drop, so now I can't attack. He's got Defiant, which is... Honestly, really good for me. Really bad for this engagement. Okay. That's lovely. Let's try to catch him again. Okay. That did some damage, and he gets a defense drop. So now I gotta be really careful. And he breaks that again, and he air slashes. All right, I gotta heal, and then we gotta keep chucking Pokeballs. Yeah, we caught him. Took like 10 Ultra Balls. But I got him. And this will be America. America. We take those. All right, I'm a little nervous on this Evergreen Hill, if I'm going to be real with you. I'm going to throw down a Repel, and then we'll see what happens. Okay, there's absolutely nothing here. I don't know. Oh, there's a cave. How do I get to that cave? I have a Repel down, but it doesn't even work because these Pokemon are such high levels. Level 65 Hariyama. Luckily, Crobat's really fast, so I shouldn't have any issues running away. But there was a secondary... Can I get over there or no? There was a cave. What is that? That's a new evolution of Sand Slash. Sand Ridger. I didn't know this game had that. Okay, guys, here's the deal. I'm like pressing on right now and I'm level 69 seeking in rain. Okay, luckily I got away. Rare candy. I'm pressing on here, but I feel like I shouldn't be. I feel like I'm I'm basically asking to get absolutely wrecked right now. This is Evergreen Cave. It's broken there. I'm gonna use a repel. I think I get a new encounter as well. I do. Um, I guess we'll see what I get. I'm really nervous though. I don't think I should be pressing onward. If I see a trainer, I gotta stop, I think. There's an item. A choice band! Ooh, I like. I like it. An eject button. Also cool, I guess. A fossil? An old amber. I can get Aerodactyl. I can get an Aerodactyl now. Again, if I see a single trainer, bro, I'm bouncing. Oh boy. All right, so there's some interesting stuff going on here with Evergreen Hill. My guess is this is like post-game content of sorts. I don't know for sure. But I'm thinking considering there was that, that area at the top. Oh, I got an encounter in here. And it is a Whiskash. Do I have a Barboach? I don't remember if I ever caught a Barboach. I don't think I did. So I guess I'll try to catch him. Uh, we'll go Darwin and we'll just uh, go for, he's gonna Future Sight so that works out. We'll Snarl, we'll catch this Whiskash. He's gonna Future Sight again, it's fine. We'll chip him down a little bit here. Well, he's gonna Earthquake me, of course, but we're okay. And I'll Snarl again. I guess I'll catch the Whiskash. I mean, it's not a super great Pokemon, but 
Kind of just is what it is. I think I have net balls as well. I do. So we'll catch this guy. And we got him. Nice. I'm gonna name it Money. Mon. Oh, oh. Money. Wish cash money. All right, let's get out of here because I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I don't think there's anything I can do, but there's definitely there's definitely something here in the future for sure. That might be a really good spot to train actually. I think this is where I am gonna wrap up. I think heading this way takes me to Sandstone Path and it does. So that's what we're gonna pick up on the next episode, but we do have Mega Evolution now. We took on a few trainers, explored, done a bunch of things. I'm gonna rest my voice as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this one. Hit that like button down below if you guys enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Pokemon Daybreak. Peace.